It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Conrad 12, 5.2% ABV, premium Czech lager. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I reviewed the first one. Loads of smoke on the opening. I reviewed the first beer from them and I had some people in the Czech Republic. Look at this beer. Gonna start coming up the top now. Yes, people in the Czech Republic saying this is not craft beer. I know it's not craft beer. I kind of I got a bit of a formula with my reviews. I let you into a little secret after I spilled beer everywhere. And that secret is that on the weekends. I like to do a more of a, the weekdays I put my, say the, the more popular craft beers from around the world on the channel. On the weekend I like to relax and not put so much emphasis on the videos, not put so much emphasis on the editing of the videos. So I review Say beers that are not craft beer, or might, might be slightly crafty, but are not right up there with the best. And I just bung them out, I just stick them on the channel, because you never know. Somebody in the Czech Republic might like this beer, they may want to watch the video, they then find your videos, they then may subscribe to your channel, and then, for me, all good for beer. Craft beer, beer, ale, real ale. The more people we've got coming towards us with this channel, the more people will find out about the channel and perhaps then turn to good beer. That's what the, the whole idea is with this channel, is to get people to drink good beer. So the more little thimbles in the field, if you like, catching the raindrops, if you've got 2,000 thimbles in the field and you put them together, then you may have a bucket of water at the end of it. And that's the whole point with YouTube. Beer in the glass, golden in colour, loads of big bubbles. I was told the bigger the bubble, the smaller the bubble, should I say, the better the beer. So um, it's not off to a great start with them big bubbles going. Let's get the aroma on this amber, light coloured lager. And yeah, this is just a lager. It's just, it's a mass produced. Samey, samey, middle of the road. Smelt this before a million times from a million different breweries. Lager. Let's dive in. Cheers. And that is absolutely terrible. That is a terrible beer. And I suppose I do this on the weekend as well. It's a Friday night. It's 25 to 8 in the evening. I suppose I do it to myself as well. Just so that on a Sunday, when I film my reviews ready for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, I generally do three beer reviews on a Sunday for the next three days. I look forward to drinking some good beer and I remind myself why I drink craft beer because this is terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It's that longing, nasty, chemical kind of taste. I'm not even going to call it bitterness because it's not even bitterness. It's a, it's a very strange... strange 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 taste that I can only put that it, it just tastes for me as if I've just gone down to my local chemical plant Dow Corning where they make silicone and I've asked them for the largest barrel of something for the cheapest possible price and I've stuck my pint glass in the barrel and I've got 
this. Ah, oh, absolutely dreadful. Conrad 12, Lezak Premium Lager, 5.2%. It always worries me. Do you know when they put the name premium on the back of these bottles or even on the front of these bottles? They call it classic premium lager or extra cold or... There you go. Conrad Premium Lager. And they got a picture there, a black and white picture of the brewery in its heyday, back when they used to brew good beer, I suspect. And oh, this, oh, this is just vile. You know, as I'm talking, as I'm speaking about this premium lager that they all seem to bang on about when they talk about crack beer, I just can't get rid of this nasty, nasty taste. That's enough for me. I can't. I can't drink any more of that. It's a astoundingly poor beer from from the Czech Republic. It's a one out of ten. One out of ten. This beer is almost undrinkable. If you know about beer, it's undrinkable. It's it's just indescribable. Thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.